Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for Season 7 of Outlander. It's hard to believe it's been over a year since Season 6 ended, but it has been, and I just, just checked the recording date of my last reaction, and it was in April, I think it was the 22nd, but I could be wrong on the, the day. It was in April of 2022. So it's been over a year, this being June, middle of June of 2023. It's actually been a pretty uh, busy year for me. Not busy here on YouTube, but busy in in my personal life, which has taken me kind of away from being able to sit down and record a lot of reactions, and and actually edit the reactions that I that I do record. As I mentioned in the in the past on on a few videos, my mother had some strokes, and in September she had a bad fall where she broke some bones in her pelvis, and she was basically immobilized almost completely for quite a few months that was in September this is June she has just within the past maybe month gotten to where she can get around on her own now and and she can walk and not have to ride in a wheelchair so things are going going well things are, are getting better and I'm hopefully going to be able to get back to doing more reactions I'll at least be able to do one a week for the next eight weeks with the new season of Outlander, and I've been looking forward to this since before I started reacting to Outlander because we're now apparently at the point of the American Revolution, and I saw that in the trailer. I did the reaction to the trailer maybe last week, I guess, week and a half ago, and I see they're starting the American Revolution. That was the aspect that really drew me toward it, one of the aspects, not the only, the time travel drew me toward it also, but also the, the being in colonial America at the time of the revolution was what really piqued my interest. As I said in the past, I saw some videos from Sean in Scotland, and that's what got me into wanting to watch it and wanting to react to it. But now it's time for season seven to begin, and I'm really looking forward to this. Unfortunately, it's only eight episodes long again. And then at some point, I think next year, we'll get the other eight episodes of this season. I don't know if they'll call that season eight or if it'll just tack on to season seven with a little bit of a hiatus in between. But we'll get at least these eight episodes in. And I've really been looking forward to this season getting started so I can see just how they're going to treat the American Revolution or how they're going to jump into that. What role is Jamie going to play? So it's going to be really interesting to see how they play this out. 14 months, there's a lot I'm sure I've forgotten. But I do remember that it ended, if I'm remembering correctly, with Claire in prison awaiting trial for the murder of Malva because she was apparently pregnant and she was saying that Jamie was the father. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out. They have to save Claire somehow. So how is that going to happen? What's going to take place that gets Claire out of this situation? Now, if you're interested in watching my full-length reaction to this or any of the other movies or episodes that I've watched, you can head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash 31mike. And I will leave a link to that down below in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into episode number one for season seven of Outlander and end this 14-month Droughtlander. Well, we don't believe Claire murdered Malva. At least I don't. So what happened there? What what happened to who murdered? Well, they got the noose on her neck. This has got to be a dream, though. A dream sequence. She's she's in her cell dreaming this. One thing about it, they kill her here. She wakes up when she gets born back in the 1910s or 18, 1918, whenever it was she was born. Yeah, gotta be a dream. We know that didn't happen. Uncle Jamie! Oh, it was his dream. I figured it was her dream. Uncle Jamie! Blood of my blood. Bone of my bone. I don't remember. Did he have that scar on his forehead all along on, the, on his brow?
Now, how long are they going to pull this aspect of the story along? Are we going to get out of here in the first episode? Or are we going to have to wait a week? And here comes the cavalry. There's something written all over your face. Well, remember, do they know that Claire was What do you even say to a preacher? Arrested? A break a leg doesn't seem right. <laughs> Reverend Kenzie hmm. was at the Battle of Alamance. Bible verse ain't gonna help us. What advice can these devil dodgers give us, hey? Hmm. <laughs> Waiting for him to say something. Float like a butterfly. <laughs> Sting, Sting like, a, like bee. a bee. And God will surely go with thee. <laughs> Ali. <laughs> oh. That's right. There was another man from the future. <laughs> I'd forgot about him. Who are you? To go down scripted from jail, but I'm not a thief, okay? I just needed a gemstone to get back to my own time. I've still got it, but I'm stuck here. I don't remember what time he was from. Was he from the 70s? Five of us made it to the stones at Ochre Coke, but we got split up when we went through. I don't know what happened. Never saw them again. So I don't want five of them. We know one of them's dead. I just want to go home. Please, help me. I don't know, can he be trusted? Yeah, that was one of the aspects of this in the last 14 months I'd forgotten about. That there were other time travelers. Which is the healer? That would be me. What is she charged with? Well, one of them's a forger, a few of them are thieves, and one of them's a murderess. Fletcher, Ferguson, something like that. But I'm the murderess. Hmm. Very well. Come with me. Where are we going? I'm afraid we're in a hurry, madam. She's going to heal somebody, or somebody's hurt or wounded or something. Mr. Christie! I see you kept your word. That's clear. She's gone. Yeah, where'd she they take her? Keep watch. She got from the long way to stand out here all night. When I came back this morning, it was already too late. I did everything in my power. The sheriff assured me they treat her with dignity. Are you Mrs. Tolliver? I'm James Fraser. I demand to know where my wife was taken. All I know is she was taken on my husband's orders. A matter of duty to the Crown. Oh, we are on the border. Oh, maybe this is where they took her. This day. Yeah. Somebody needs healing on the ship. I promise. Shouldn't you be letting my blood? Hmm. There's a fleeman bowl no. over there. Unless... Oh God, is it true? Are you the one who... Who murdered <laughs> her husband's pregnant mistress and cut the baby from her womb? It was you, wasn't it? She was not his mistress. My husband doesn't know, does he? I doubt it. He knows. Well, maybe he doesn't. How did you help with the nausea not until you swear you won't hurt my baby you must <laughs> swear it I'm a healer harming someone would be rather at cross purposes with that wouldn't it I am a mother too thank you I won't say anything about the charge if you don't <laughs> So I knew her trying to save the baby by cutting it out of dead Malva in that time frame was a mistake. Forgive me. But surely your place is here, Governor Martin. And yours, madam, is in the surgeon's cabin tending to my wife. Well, her condition is much improved. I wanted to ask if I could go fetch some additional supplies in Wilmington for her. Leave mm. the ship. Do you have any idea what it took to bring you here? Absolutely not. Yeah. 
Yeah, would she just disappear into the wilderness? Make a list and we'll send a messenger to collect whatever it is you need before we set sail. She wants to get up out of there. Not quite sure what he was looking at there. I... Mr. Thomas Christie. Yes. A Mistress Claire Fraser requires your immediate and most urgent assistance. She has assured us that you are the man best able to help. But we require your utmost That's how Jamie's going to find out where she is. You can procure the necessary items, Mr. Christie. Yes. For our patient aboard HMS Cruiser. I am I'm very happy to be of service, both to Mistress Fraser and to the Crown. The Mears. What is that? So this, this is how Jamie can find out where she is. Mr. Fraser. Is it now, Mr. Christie? I know where Mistress Fraser is. Oh, that's what that meant. Okay. What language is that? Is that Latin? French? I'm not sure. Hmm. Here comes Jamie. Yep. Do you wish to come aboard, sir? Aye, I do. So, yeah. Her right hand is all bruised on the knuckles. Did she hit somebody? Something maybe I'm forgetting from... Last season? This is not permitted. <laughs> I wish to speak with the governor. I'm James Fraser of Fraser's Ridge. I've come for my wife. I humbly ask that you allow me to take her on. I'm a reasonable man. I will offer you a proposition. Return to the back country and gather such men as you can. Then report to Major McDonald and commit your troops to his campaign. Hmm. When I receive word from happen. him that you have, say, 200 men, then, sir, I will release your wife to you. Very well. Hmm. Force him to fight for the British. But I am going back to that ship. What will you do, Uncle? Don't break her out. Whatever I must. Well, if he could break her out and get her, set her free, all he has to do is go join the rebels. You are the answer to my prayer. Hmm. How much have you had to drink? You must help me. Sounds like a lot. I beg you. Help him what? That is something I must do. Cruiser, me tell the governor what I have done. Let me look Mistress Fraser in the eye one last time and confess. Mm. I can say nothing to dissuade you. No. Yeah. Like I said, it's been 14 months. I must be forgetting something. I've come to confess to the murder of my daughter. <laughs> oh. No, you couldn't have. <laughs> That's the contrary, I see. Are you insane? It's the truth. I will swear to it by the Holy Scriptures. I don't understand. I love you. No. Oh. <laughs> well, there were hints in season six that he had a bit of an infatuation. At least I had had that thought. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I had that thought. I've written down my confession. I have sworn that I killed my daughter. 
slaughter for the shame she had brought on me by her wantonness. That's what he meant by to Jamie that he wanted to give a confession. I have written another copy of this confession and I've already left it with the newspaper in Wilmington. They will publish it and you will go free. I've spent my life in the attempt to give my love to those who are not worthy of it. Allow me this. To give my life for the sake of one who is. Your life has value. You can't throw it away like this. Well, if he did it, her life has value. Why throw it away for something she didn't do? He did. Go to your husband. There must be something we can do. Lieutenant Tate. Claire, yep, there she is. I'm surprised they didn't keep her on the ship to help the governor's wife. So I was wondering how she was going to get out of that. Did you make Tom confess? No. No, he told me what he intended to do, and I told him bite. So you didn't think he did it either. But that doesn't make any sense. Why did he speak up in front of Brown? I wondered if it was Blue. Called Malva himself, but he's looking for revenge. Maybe. Or we're gonna see Brown in this season. He loves you. Yeah, I was gonna say he's it's in love with her. So he could have faked it. I'd have done the same. Counted my life well lost. If it saved you. But how can I let him sacrifice himself for me? I go to hang in, Jamie. If he feels the same as me, then you've done no wrong to him. To take your life from his hand. Is what he wanted. Rest now, McCree. I know they've told us what these Scottish words mean, but I don't remember most of them anyway. Is that Brown? Jamie gonna go get Brown? <laughs> oh, that's what he was looking at earlier, the horse. No, thank you. I prefer to wait until after. Hmm, after what? After? Hmm, <laughs> something's gonna happen. You are my hair on my head. You know my kin will hunt you down. Kill everyone you hold dear. I spared them the trouble. By now, my nephew. The Indian you tormented. We'll be paying your men a wee visit. Hmm. His Cherokee acquaintances will be giving him a helping hand, too. Oh, in other words, that's it for his family. Hmm, he looks nervous. We'll have no more trouble from them. Yeah, I was thinking about that musket, that uh, pistol. I'm also a violent man. Hmm. Any goodness that prevails in me is because of my wife. You try to take her from me. You won't kill me. He might. Make your peace with the Lord if you must. <laughs> Well, the bad thing about watching these as they air is now we have to wait a week to see what's going to happen there because they always like to give you a cliffhanger. And when I was so many seasons behind, 
I could just go to the next episode and see what happened. Now I have to wait a week. And I hate that. <laughs> I like to be able to binge things. So I was wondering how Claire was going to get out of that and how, or if Jane, how Jamie was going to get her out of that. I didn't think that Christy was going to get her out of it. But she put the question out there, is he lying about that? Did somebody else kill Malva? And he's just giving himself up as a, a sacrifice for her because he's in love with her. That's possible. I guess we'll find out in the coming episodes. And with Brown, it's like I said earlier, are we going to see Brown in, in this season? And, well, we did. Is that all we're going to see of him, though? Is Jamie actually going to kill him? That would be a little bit, well, I don't know. that I would say it's out. it would be out of his character, like Brown said, to kill him in cold blood. But the way Brown acted and the things that he did, I could I could see Jamie being upset enough to to do it. So it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to go about how what what's going to happen there. And that Indian that was from the future, when when did it go? I, I think was his name. I think that was his name. I'd forgotten about him. That that he existed, that he was from the future and and in the past. So when Roger started to quote Muhammad Ali, and then he said Ali, and then they showed him that that's what what reminded me. That, yeah, that's right. There was somebody else from the future there. Now, he said he was there with five other people. We know of the one that Claire saw, the, the one that was scalped. I don't remember what his name was. But Claire encountered his ghost or found his skull and then encountered his ghost. So we know he's dead. What about the other three? If there were five of them, the one that Claire encountered as a ghost, Wendigo, if that's his name, if I'm remembering his name right, what about the other three? Does that mean there's three more time travelers here in the past somewhere that we haven't met yet? Or have we met them and I've just forgotten? So that was episode one for season seven. Somewhat tied up the loose ends for season six, apparently. Like I say, maybe... Christy is lying, and we're going to find out who the real murderer is, if he's not the real murderer. And now we can move on to the revolution, because that looks like we're starting to really get into it here. I don't remember what year this is supposed to be taking place. I knew we were getting close to the revolution, and I knew we were going to get to it in this season after watching that trailer. But I don't know what year we're at here. 73, 74, 75, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember what year Claire and Jamie were supposed to die in the house fire. And I don't think we've gotten to that yet, have we? Have we gotten to the point where there would have been a house fire? I don't remember now. Like I say, it's been 14 months and I only watched each episode from season 6 once. So I don't remember necessarily everything that took place. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you have any thoughts about this, maybe some of the questions that I've asked, if you remember the answers or if you know the answers and they're not spoilers, leave some comments down below. Let me know. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload each new video. Go along Season 7 with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week on Episode number 2.